Hello you guys, it's Grace and Theo and Lulu. You all probably recognize Theo, but Lulu might be a new face for you if you haven't watched my latest Bark Box unboxing. As you can see, they're best friends. Lulu is our foster dog. We got her January 22nd, which was a Sunday. We've had her almost two weeks. It'll be two weeks on Sunday, which is, you know, two days from now. I'm not sure when I'll get around to posting this video, but as of right now, it's Friday. The 2nd or 3rd of February. Anyway, so Lulu came from Oklahoma. She was pregnant and she had three puppies. Their names were Lolly, Lyle, and Liam, I believe. Pretty sure. I think Lolly is now called Lola. Um, she came with three puppies and at the time they arrived, they were three months old. And that first night she was with us was her first night without her puppies. And <laughs> she really just seemed happy to be away from them. Like that sounds really bad, but she just, you know, she's had to deal with her puppies for three months. She just seemed really happy to have like time to herself to be able to be a dog again for the first time in a while. So that was really awesome to see. Um, that night she got to our house probably around 6.30 and she was really stinky and dirty and her fur felt just dirty and gross. So I ended up giving her a bath. One of our puppies had a flea and um, they recommended, hey, just give her a bath. We were gonna give her a bath anyway. So we were like, all right, that's fine. So I used a flea and tick shampoo. I used um, an oatmeal shampoo that's really good for their fur. And then I used this yummy, Fresh Pet sweet smelling shampoo that I love that um, they use where I work and she got a bath that night and the water coming off of her was just like brown. It was tinted, dirty water and <laughs> even after the bath she still had a little bit of a residue of stinkiness so a few days later I ended up giving her another bath but um <laughs> she seemed to enjoy the bath but also hated it you know most dogs are kind of just like no don't don't give me a bath that's not my thing she seemed to enjoy being clean and being just washed off um, when we first got her we didn't know for sure if she was spayed or not um, she ended up being spayed she was spayed on the 16th of January I think um, and I had found her little scar in her belly and then she also had like a little um, you know, when dogs have puppies, they have their, um, their teats, if you will, that kind of like rub up against each other. So she had like a little bit of, um, raw area from, um, the friction of them rubbing together. So, um, that's gone away now. So she seems to be a lot more comfortable there. Um, she also had a little bit of a bleeding problem. She was bleeding from her vulva and they weren't sure what exactly that meant. Um, we think it might be a botched spay. Um, she may have, still have part of one of her ovaries left. Not 100% sure, but, oh no, she's laying her head on my back. Oh, there. She does stuff like that all the time and it just makes me love her even more. Um, her bleeding eventually stopped. It was, it's been a few days since she's had any sort of bleeding. Or anything like that so we're still kind of trying to figure it out but we have a family who's interested in adopting her um, a family friend of ours was interested in adopting her and I am so glad that she has someone interested in her um, everyone who's met her has told me how sh sweet she is and how loving she is and um, I'm glad she has her own little family that she'll get to spend the rest of her days with um, they think she's about a year and a half old, which is like, whoa, she's really young and she already has three months old, three month old puppies. So that's a little crazy, but, um, it's fine. She's so good. She came to us housebroken. She, she'll occasionally bark or whine, especially if she like first goes in her kennel, she'll kind of do a little whine, but, um, for the most part, she's pretty quiet and just super sweet. Um, I've let her sleep in my bed a couple times. I originally said I wasn't going to let her sleep in my bed, but um, 
There have been a couple nights when she's stayed up here with me and Theo and they've slept super cute. Her and Theo are best friends. Like, they play constantly. Even um, if there are other dogs to play with, she'll still play with Theo. They, they just really enjoy each other's company. So that makes me, you know, a little, little heartbroken that Theo will not have her as a sister anymore. But since they are a family friend of ours that who, um, that are probably going to be end, um, ending up adopting her, she'll probably get to come over for play dates. So that makes it a little less bittersweet. Um, they play with toys together. She loves toys. So I think I'm going to send a couple, um, toys because Theo doesn't really play all that much with toys so he won't miss a couple of them if I send them with her. We did a nail trim. Her quicks are really long and she has black nails so you can't see the quicks so I've been kind of trimming like a tiny little bits off of her nails and one of the times I did get one of the quicks so that bled pretty pretty hard but um it stopped bleeding once I put the septic powder on it so she was really good for all of that too like I was trimming her nails and then I got her quick and she just like looked at her paw and like licked it once and then she was just like eh. but she didn't like squirm really um, she was super good like the whole time I am definitely going to miss her I will insert a couple of clips of them playing and just like pictures and stuff at the end of this so you can see um, yeah, I'll miss her a lot. I think if I wasn't going to college next year, I would totally want to adopt her, but unfortunately that's not an option for me. So it was just as great to help her on her way to finding a forever home and be a part of her journey. It was really an amazing experience that I am so happy I was a part of. So anyway, Lou, are you gonna come say bye? Come in! Why is a good girl? So there they are saying goodbye. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to edit some things into it and then I will hopefully be able to <laughs> post it. <laughs> she left again. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below questions you have about fostering or anything you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. I'll see you next time. Bye!